Now, Saudi Arabia is hoping to improve its global image and attract new visitors. Part of that plan, a new airline called Riyadh Air. Richard Quest spoke to its CEO. There's a demand which currently for travel here is far greater than supply. So point-to-point -point traffic into Riyadh, you may have experienced it, 93%. You look out the window, this is the same size Riyadh as the inside of the M25 in London, so it's Greater London. The population of this city is around 8 million people. This is a big, vibrant city, part of a fast-growing economy, and it needs far better connectivity. Are you going for premium economy? We'll have three classes. We will have an amazing economy product for the large majority of our guests. A premium economy, Richard which I think most people would take a view is the best reven revenue producer for the real estate. And we'll have a business plus, and we'll set the, the bar on all three all right. of those products to the next level. Free Wi-Fi on board. I'm gonna make sure that we have the best Wi-Fi connectivity that the industry has seen to date. Why? Because we don't have any legacy. So there you go, you've teased that one out, but it wasn't very difficult for me to answer. Qatar's just announced it's changing its CEO. Uh, Emirates will change its CEO in the next couple of years, if not sooner, we, we, Tim will go. Etihad has uh, a new CEO since, since you left. I, I mean, you're, you're turning into the, you, you will be the elder statesman of the, of the region in that sense. But of those other carriers, they're all your competitors. There is more than enough for all of us, given the growth profile in this region. But what we'll be going after is making it easier to get into the kingdom and for our citizens to get to the world. And let me finish with this yeah. one, Richard. In September, I went to 15 cities in one month, almost as many as you normally connect to. I could only do one of them directly through the kingdom, given the schedule that I had. Most of them were using Qatar Airways or coming back on Emirates. Why? Because the connectivity is not good enough here at the moment. This is the last time I'm going to ask you this question. Wouldn't it have just been easier, cheaper and made more economic sense? Just to reformat, rebuild Saudi. I think it's important for many of your viewers to get that sense of geography and scale. This is an enormous country. It's two thirds the size of Western Europe. The fact that we've not got two airlines is part of the problem to date and the reason why we need to catch up the way we do and serve the demand. Alliance, yes or no? No. Well, that was quick. There you go. Um, now, listen, let me unpack it. Alliances serve well, but unless you're one of the big dominant members of the inner circle, it probably doesn't serve as well as we would need it to. So we're more inclined to work with strategic partnerships. Final question, your launch date, first flight. So we're launching Q2 2025. And, you know, for some people, again, your viewers, that might sound like a long time in the future, but you and I both know in my line of business, that's like tomorrow morning. There's a lot to do and that's why it's so exciting. And we'll take that extension of the brand all around the world, over a hundred cities within our first five years of operation.